Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, let's think about these things before we support and complain, first and foremost, about a black business. Number one is pricing. I know a lot of people complain that the prices of black owned businesses are way too high. I get it, I'm broke. I'm broke too. But we have to think about how these products are made. Off rip, handmade, and natural products are always gonna be more expensive. Before I buy something, I always think about what is the median cost of this product. So say something like it has shea butter and honey. Honey, honey is expensive. Shea butter is uh, but say if it has some like cucumber butter or something, some rare butter, it's gonna be more expensive. Offer it. So I'm like, okay, the median prices for natural hair products is like $15. So if I see something that's $15, I'm not gonna complain because products similar to this is also the same price. Now when you hit in $30, $30, $20, that's why I'm gonna question like, okay, why does this cost so much, right? Also, handmade products are not usually mass produced. So that means the price is going to be higher also. So just keep that in mind. But the baseline for natural hair products is about $15. Anything lower than that, the quality and um, the quality and the amount of natural hair ingredients go down. So that's that. So for example, let's say if a product has corn oil compared to jojoba oil, like jojoba oil is way more expensive than corn oil. I know this, I don't know if y'all know this, but Carol's daughter did that. They replaced um, certain ingredients with corn oil because corn oil is cheaper. So that's kind of like cutting, cutting costs. Okay, another thing that affects the prices of black owned business is um, when you're starting out, right? You can't usually, usually, you can't afford to buy stuff in mass quantities. When you buy things or products or tools or, you know, that's an invest, that's a large investment. You have to cough up a lot more money up front, right? So I used to be a um, stock manager. So I would see the invoices. So you would see these company buy products from another company for like thousands of dollars. They had the money to put that up front but if you look at it per unit let's say you bought say this this is a lip gloss let's say you bought a thousand of these right that was like the minimum amount you can buy and it cost you say like a thousand dollars right per unit you only paid a dollar but say you don't have the thousand dollars to put up and you can only buy, let's say, 50. But because you bought at a lower quantity, each unit costs more. So now instead of paying a dollar per unit because you couldn't afford the, the thousand unit, you're paying say like five, six dollars per unit instead of one. So that's why sometimes the cost of natural hair products or smaller businesses products cost more because they can't afford to buy you know their equipment whatever in large quantities all right so next thing shipping uh <laughs> i've had um shop with certain brands where shipping has taken a long time but i i'm like okay 
what we need to understand is what we need to understand is a lot of these small business owners have other jobs so i know this one i always buy from her i already know off rip my products is gonna take a while to get to me because not only does she make products but she's a nurse nurse work what like 12 hour shifts and she's a nurse not only she's a nurse <laughs> she's a mom she's a wife okay so there's certain days i guess she puts aside to make care products but it's gonna take a lot longer for my product to get to me because she has other things going on you know so number two that affects shipping time that same person that's making the products is also running social media doing the labels printing the labels doing uh filling up the 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 products doing the packaging it be a one woman ran show of course sometimes yes they're gonna get like help from family or but that's not consistent help so, you know, shipping is going to vary. Also, made to order products take a long, longer time to ship because when you order it, the product's already made, which I like because um, I like to know that my product is not just sitting there and you know going rotten especially especially because with higher quality ingredients um they don't have a long shelf life so if you're making the products and it's sitting there by the time it gets to me instead of having 12 months of use i'm probably gonna have six and especially with deep conditioners i run through them pretty quickly so for a product to go rotten on me that's a waste of money so i actually prefer made to order products i can wait the longer shipping time it's a okay with me um as long as you know my products are good okay next will be Okay, one thing also I think people don't understand. Once your products is in UPS hands, there's nothing the business owner can really do about it. Like now her products is in another business hands. So when you don't get your product or when you, so once, okay, say you get the email saying that the label was made, your products have been shipped, any complaints, you should always contact whatever postal service they're using first to see where your product is because that business owner doesn't have it anymore so the same thing you're gonna do um which is called postal service is the same thing the business owner is gonna do when you contact them so it's always good to contact post whatever it is fedex usps yes listen they are trash and i live in the ghetto so a lot of times they'll act like they came and try to deliver my package when they did not um yeah sometimes if i have the options i'll tell them to leave it at the postal office and i'll go pick it up or um if i could switch mail carriers i'll do that but please uh, contact the postal service first before you contact the business owner what i will say is you do can judge them by their customer service because one time i think usps lost my package or whatever when i knew they lost it that's when i contacted the business owner and asked hey what can we do and you know she was like i'll send you another package and then um i think we fixed it so that um uh, we changed 
the postal service and I was able to pick it up from a, a location. I think we changed it to US, uh, UPS instead of USPS. And you know how they have like different places where you could pick up your package. So we did that instead because USPS was bugging around that time. And um, they had switched the locks for my building. So they weren't able to get just in and out the building. So they were just like, it was a mess. But yes, please. <laughs> Contact USPS before you contact the business owner. And lastly, y'all don't read. I'm going to need y'all to read shipping policy, return policy before y'all complain. Like, y'all really don't be reading. That's probably the number one thing. Y'all don't read. I remember someone had a drop sale. She's a very... Annabelle's Perfect Blends. Um, she had a sale. And before you checked out, you had to check off saying that this product would not be shipped until this date. And people were contacting her before the date saying, um, where's my product? I don't see no movement. When you literally had to check off, before you can even check out, give her your money, that you understood that this product was not going to be shipped and that because this was a drop sale the processing time that's another thing processing time and shipping time are two different things homie two processing time is the time it takes to make the product that could be a week let's say it's a week and the time for it to ship to you so that's two weeks in total not including the weekend okay so let's say processing time is seven days right so that's monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday monday tuesday okay and then to ship to you so i think depending what carrier i think usps they do deliver on saturdays but of course most places sundays don't deliver um so that could be almost two weeks and a half until you get your products but y'all contacting them after a week when it clearly says processing time not shipping processing time is seven days i don't know but yeah please read please read before y'all cross off the black owned businesses when y'all not the one comprehending I'm not saying that some businesses, all black owned businesses have good customer service, but I don't think that's a defer you from supporting them. Cause I know, um, Fashion Nova done did a lot of people dirty. Pretty Little Things done did a lot of people dirty. Apple done did a lot of people. And guess what? You still use them. T-Mobile, you still use them. You still go to Walmart. Okay, so let's get it together, people. That's all I have for today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Peace.